was the worst hiccup that I ever had. Hey guys, it is the real Randy Chavez here, and hey all you people. Hey, okay, so I was about to do that song from SpongeBob or the Jellyfish um, Jelly, but I didn't picture any lyrics to it or figure it out. Uh, we have some sales data today, and um, what we are going over is we a couple of things I really want to talk about because I have some interest in the cards. Uh, please like and subscribe. It's good for the YouTube algorithm. It is good for commenting, and it is good to grow the hobby. We all want everyone to be able to enjoy Pokemon as much as we do. Uh, and uh, again, for if you want any financial, I don't know, I guess advice or what I'm doing, again, go to Patreon. Um, but right now, getting into it, we had a silver medal, uh, silver victory medal uh, from 2006, uh, PSA 10. That sold for $86. I, I think that uh, I bought mine for around 50 like a year and a half ago. Uh, maybe two years ago. So, so this, um, so it grew. Was that sixty percent? Sixty percent in two years. That's great. Uh, so it's sold at eighty six. Then the next two bids were eighty five and eighty five. So it was a really good competition there. It wasn't just two, and then the last one was forty. Um, those are the top three bids. Also had a, a bunch from Rocket here. Uh, first edition PSA nine Slowbro a Hollow from the Rocket set uh, sold for forty. Uh, second bid was thirty nine. Third bid was thirty four. Uh, First edition PSA 9 Magneton, a uh, hollow from the rocket set again. That one we had, uh, that sold for 38. Second bid was 37. Third bid was 35. Uh, and th that that Magneton uh, would be extraordinarily higher if that was from a a, a 10. A, a 10, again, we have no idea what that sold for. I think the last one sold for 6,000 or best offer. Uh, so the 9, in my, in my sh that should be much, much, much higher. Um, we have first edition PSA nine. Oh, I'm sorry, disregard. I'm sorry. That was a Machamp. That was a Machamp. The uh, first edition PSA nine Machamp Hollow sold for thirty eight, thirty seven, thirty five. The first edition PSA nine Magneton again from the Rocket Hollow that sold for seventy one. Second bid was uh, seventy. Third bid was sixty eight. Again, my position or my my opinion that should be much much higher because the ten goes for so much. Again, ten probably for a couple grand. Uh, I don't know how much. Uh, again. 10 times that would be 700 or 710 dollars uh so and if minimum that should sell for two grand uh if not like three or four so again my 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 opinion is that that first edition psa 9 magneton should be much higher okay i'm not 100 percent sure of the numbers on how many nines there are versus uh tens and tens there's so few there's definitely less than 100 there's probably less than 50 um and then for a first edition psa 10 from the rocket set we had a full heal. So this is the first card that we're going over that's not a rare. It's an uncommon card. Uh, it sold for 91. Uh, the second bid was 90, and then the third bid was 47. So we had two people here really bid past the $50 mark. And why I'm sure that if this was sold again, it would also get past the $50 mark is because the last one that sold last month, uh, the same card sold for 76. So we are seeing steady growth. However... The past few months before that, we had three sell for 15, 29, and 12. Uh, and they weren't buy it now, so those were from auctions. Um, but I think people are realizing that because that card, again, I forget how many PSA 10 copies there are, but if you're going to want to complete a set, you need every card. So that's why I think there's uh, some fluctuation there. It's an uncommon card, but I feel like not a, not a lot of people grade it because it, it sold for so little in the past. So now that there's not a lot of them available, when someone, like, same thing happens in Gym Challenge for. Uh, uh, several cards for Sabrina's Abra number 94 that went for $81 it's a common card but it only has like under 20 PSA 10 copies and they're just not out there uh, obviously if you were to open up a, like 10 gym packs and you get you know six uh, or seven of those Sabrina's Abras a few of those are probably going to be a 10 you know the pack fresh are probably going to but the because so so people see such little value in it because the, it's a, again, it's a common card. Uh, but then people like me that need that for my collection, I'd pay $100 for one right now. First edition PSA 10, Sabrina's Abro number 94, I'd, I'd pay $100 for. Be, even though it's a common card, you need it to complete the collection. Um, so I think that's what's happening here. You know, we had one last one sell for 76, this full heal, and now we have one sell for 91. With well, the last three auctions before there were 15, 29, and 22. So. Uh, that that is that is interesting to see where that goes, and we'll keep an eye on that for the next auction. We have first edition PSA nine, uh, 
Raichu Hollow from the Fossil area. Sold for 85 or best offer. Uh, I think the last two sold for like 69 70 So uh, that very well could have been like a $75. It, it could They could have sold it for 80 They could have sold it for 65 I don't know. Uh, but it's a good bet. It's probably going to be that 70 price uh, around there. Also had a uh, first edition PSA 9 uh, Raichu from the Rocket set. That was a secret rare, 83 out of 82. It was the first set to ever have a secret rare, and that sold for 102. The second one, second bid was 100. Third bid was 94. So again, a lot of competition with that. That secret rare always carries a premium. Uh, again, broke the 100 barrier. And if that was the only one, okay, I'm not sure if that's the only one to break the 100 barrier at that time. Um, I would have said, like, maybe it's an anomaly, maybe it's not. But then the second one, so we had two of these going auction within two hours of each other. Uh, a second first edition PSA 9 Raichu, again, same exact card uh, from the Rocket set, Secret Rare, sold for $100. Second bid was a 99, third bid was a 94. So again, that, that bottom... That bottom tier of 94, it looks like if this sold again, it would probably get it would probably get a uh, uh, hundred dollars. Uh, you know, again, minimum 94. It might even go higher than that. But again, if these were separated, if that 102 sold and then that uh, that other PSA 9 wasn't on auction for another like week, then we probably would have seen an increase in price. But because they were around the same time, within two hours of each other. That's why they sold for about the same. Uh, now, again, I didn't really take a good look. If one was a strong 9, one was a weak 9, they're probably around the same. Uh, then we had a first edition PSA 9 Erica's Clefairy uh, Hollow coming in from the uh, Gym Hero set. That sold for 51. Uh, I'm sorry, it was Erica's Clefable. That sold for 51. The second two bids you know, were 50 and 50. So all three of them were right there. Then we had a, going back to the Rocket set, a first edition PSA 7 Dark Charizard Hollow. Uh, the winning bid was 147. Then we had the second bid of 145, third bid of 140. So, really good competitions, a nice cluster, all within, you know, $8 of each other. And then we had a first edition PSA 9 Charizard. So, already, like, again, the sevens of the Blaine's Charizard sells for like, about 300. This one's selling for about 150, you know, give or take. Now, why that is, even though that's the second Charizard to come out, you know, we had that, that base set Charizard. The reason why this is a bit less than the, again, going going PSA 7 to PSA 9, why those are less than the Blaine's Charizards, even though they came out first, was because Rocket Set was so, I don't want to say overprinted, but they were printed uh, a bit more than they were in the Gym Challenge or Gym Hero set. Maybe because at the time they didn't get a lot of... Uh, they didn't get a lot of want or, or demand for that, that Gym Challenge and Gym Hero set, possibly because this is like the eighth set that they came out, that they were still printing of the first generation, you know, and then came Neo Genesis, which is the start of the second generation. So maybe that's why at the time there wasn't that much demand for the Gym Challenge, Gym Hero set, because there is so much more. And the reason I bring that up is because there's so much more copies in the pop report of, of every single Rocket card than there is to... Uh, gym challenge again there's 450 uh, psa 10 copies of that first edition psa 10 dark charizard where there's only 257 of the blaine's charizard uh so anyway go the first edition psa 9 dark charizard hollow sold for 321 second bid was 319 and the third bid was 309 now obviously in the blaine's charizard you know that comparison that le most recent one sold for 610 or best offer so you're not 100% sure where it's going to go. Um, but I'm guessing minimum 500, probably up to 6. Now the Speaking of Blaine's Charizards, we have two at PWCC auction right now. They're like 7 and 9 days uh, away from com being complete, or maybe 6 and 8 by now. And they have... Oh, I'm losing, I'm losing my camera. They already have 8 and 900 bids on them. So... I can't afford it right now. Once my wire comes in for my other job, I'll probably try for one. It looks to me that the first one up for bid, again, if you go to PWCC and look at their, their Blaine's Charizards, there's two of them. The first one that's going for bid, or that ends sooner, that one looks like it, it, it's a pristine, pure 10 copy. And the second one that's a 10, the one that's listed after, again, it's still a 10, 
and it's still a phenomenal card. I just see a little bit of whitening. I, I forget where, but um, it's just, again, still a fantastic, phenomenal card, but not in as good a shape. Again, I don't want to get too far away from this. That's speculative right now um, because that's in the future. But right now, after the Dark Charizard, we have a, a, a Fossil Lot. So it's a first edition PSA 10. They're all first edition all PSA 10. A, the lots of, they're all commons. I forget which numbers they are, but I think they're 16 cards. So it sold for 291. The second bid was 286. And the third bid was 260. Oh, also the Dark Charizard was a, that PSA 9 was a private listing. And so was this Fossil Lot. These were private listings. Uh, I, I thought it was Dark Blastoise who did it. Uh, that I think Dark Blastoise was the eBay person. Uh, they have a cool store. Um, and this one, because they're all the commons, so there's 16 commons, I believe. And of 291, I am so bad at math right now. Uh, I'm going to guess that that's, it's less than $20 a card. I'm going to guess it's like $18 a card that they paid uh, for that, which is great because you're the amount of packs you would have to open in order to get all the commons. And then great in PSA 10, it's, it's just a lot. So the fact that they did, they got that, that was a great deal for them, uh, I think. Even though like individually you could maybe get them for like 10 or 15, but then you have to pay shipping. And again, you have to open them, you have to grade them, you have to wait a year uh, for them to get back. Anyway, I think that was a good, good buy for the, for the buyer. Uh, then we also had a first edition PSA 9 uh, Lapras from the Fossil Era. Uh, hollow uh, sold for 123 again I should have gotten it I should have taken it I just um, money's been so tight uh, these past two weeks because of the whole sickness that's going around and after the 123 second bid was 120 third bid was 105 that was also a private listing again I think that was from the uh, dark blast toys guy um, or gal I don't know then after that, we had a first edition PSA 10 box, uh, I'm sorry, base set Raichu. This one was, uh, I think, a new record price. Uh, sold for $2,613, which I don't know how they worked this out because the second bid was $2,613. And then the third bid was $2,513. Um, now, back in February, this card also sold for $2,200, a $400 increase. That is... I think a 18% increase in price. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. That was about 18% increase in price uh, in a month. Now, if another one... Now, again, three bids over 2500 Again, uh, it was a private listing, so I don't know if one of those had zero feedback or if that the right deals, but uh, that is a phenomenal amount of uh, growth for that card. Uh, I, I think that... I think there's like 83 or 89 copies of that card. I know it's less than 100. Again, first edition PSA 10, base set Raichu. Love that card. I also have a first edition PSA 8 uh, holographic Dragonite from the Fossil set. Uh, 125 was the winning bid. 124 was the second, so it was neck and neck. And the third bid was uh, 100. Uh, that was also the last of the private listings. Uh, next, we have a, a bunch of Gym Challenge cards. They were from Australia, I think. Uh, that, I know you had to pay like $11 shipping. So it might have been Australia. It might have been somewhere in Europe. It was one of those weird money symbols that me as a stupid American cannot figure out or remember. We had a first edition PSA 9 uh, Hollow Blaine. Sold for 36 We had a first edition PSA 9 Hollow Giovanni. Sold for 41 Which I thought was interesting because I thought Blaine was always a bit more popular. Because Blaine's card, for me, those Hollows always sold at a little bit of a premium than the rest of the gym leaders. I don't know why. Maybe there's less of them. And Giovanni, for whatever reason, always sold for a lesser amount. I remember I got my first edition PSA 10 Giovanni for like 55 bucks, And and that was less than two years ago. Now the 9s are going for 41 So a lot of growth in there. Uh, and then we had a first edition PSA 9 Giovanni's Machamp sell for 62 Why I think that sold for 62 and the most recent PSA 9 of that same card sold for 71 is because, again, if it's an American yeah. buying it they had to pay $11 shipping for this. So I think that's why. Then we also had a first edition PSA 9 Persian, or Giovanni's Persian, and that sold for 96 Again, that card, PSA 10, is probably worth over $1,000. So the fact that this is 96 you know, about 10 times less than that, that makes that makes sense. Um, so it's it seems high for a 9, but again, that, that seems to make sense. Uh, it's around the upper end of normal for that. 
Then we have uh, cards for those who don't know the tropical beach, the tropical winds, the world's cards, the champions. That they're so exceedingly rare, those cards. Beautiful, unique artwork. I know SM Pratt has, has done a couple of videos about those cards. I have a bunch of them myself. The Tropical Tidal Wave card from 2010. They, a top 16 and a top 32. And I was watching this because I, I was going to buy it after my wire came in. Um, they're raw cards, so they're not graded, but they appeared to both be around PSA 7. A little bit of whitening and everything. Sold for 325 Um... I should have bought it. <laughs> you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, I should have. And then one of my favorite cards, a card that I have two copies of, is a, actually, you know what? I'm just going to take that out. I'm going to show you what card I'm talking about. This 1997 Balloon Pikachu uh, from the Coraco Comics. And I know what you're thinking. There's two Pikachus, right? Those cards have two copies of them. I don't know which box I'm opening here. But those cards... One, one card is a Pikachu that is like an English or French, and it has an airplane in it, like a giant like American airline plane. And then the other card that's in it, I cannot for the life of me find where the heck I put these cards. Um, but the other one, Balloon Pikachu, is from the Coraco Comics, again, from 1997. And it has that uh, glossy glossy look glossy feel to it and oh so if we're talking about the 2006 silver one that it was before this is it this sold i, I don't know if it was a nine or a, or a ten that sold before i will check but that is what it is i am so sorry guys i cannot find this card for the life of me i could have sworn oh here they are. this one i was talking about the, the there's only 17 psa 10 copies uh, in the pop report, I happen to have two of them, and that so far, yes, Can I come in? yeah, come in. So uh, this is my housemate Lauren. Say hi. Hello. Okay. What's up? Can we go to Seven Eleven? No. Wait. Hang on. Let me finish this video. So anyway, <laughs> this card sold for five forty nine or best offer, and I honestly, in my opinion, because this card is twenty three years old, only. What are you doing? I want, I want 7-Eleven. I know you. I just got 7-Eleven. I just got a pizza. I, I just Gatorade. got... What? I want Gatorade. I thought you said I'm on my period. <laughs> and I was no, like... <laughs> I want Gatorade. Okay. Hang on. I mean, if I was on my period, would it would make any difference. Maybe. It might feel bad for you. Okay, then this... yeah. I'm on my period. All right. So this card... Again, so sorry for the interruptions. <laughs> 17 cards in the pop report. 23 years old. These should be $700 to $1,000 cards. I should have bought that. Again, shoulda, coulda, woulda. In my head. That's... Uh, again... That is so underrated to me now because it's so rare, the unique artwork. It's beautiful. If anyone, or not only the artwork that is, look at how adorable he is, but the fact that anyone who's ever played the Pokemon Snap game will know that in that, I think the ice cave where you see Mewtwo, if you throw uh, pester balls at the Zubat, that's like, um, annoying the Pikachu or you save Pikachu and you throw pester balls at him. He, fl he has balloons. He floats with the balloons. He's flying. It's flying Pikachu. You take a picture of him. You get extra points for getting flying Pikachu. So nostalgic. So beautiful. I freaking love this card so much. That's why I got two of them. Um, I guess I would feel really bad if I had three out of the 17 cards that are in that pop report. So beautiful. Anyway, uh, that is my video. Sorry for all the, it's 18 minutes long. I've been told, told to make a video on what I think would be a good investment. I will save that for tomorrow because this video is already too long. Bye guys.